Hello, thank you for subscribing to Infoverse Tech. This is a channel where we explore new trends in technology, including machine learning, artificial intelligence, Python programming, cloud computing, blockchain, and, and similar. So today we are going to look at easy copy, which is a command line utility that can be used to copy blobs or files between a source and destination, uh, typically storage accounts. Um, AZ copy can upload and download files in directories between a local system and cloud or between uh, public cloud like AWS, S3 and Google cloud storage. It can either use SAS which is shared access signature or OAuth. In this tutorial we will be using OAuth with Azure Active Directory to authenticate a user and allow sending and receiving files between storage accounts. So we will be using AZ copy version 10 which is an executable file. It can be just copied to any directory on your computer and uh, there is nothing to install. So earlier I recorded a tutorial on using SAS which is shared access signature and I'll post the link uh, to the tutorial um, later in the uh, video here. So let's get started. The uh, first thing that uh, we need to do is um, to head over to my home account uh, on Azure. You can see uh, that's uh, where I am. And um, we need to create a user. And uh, just for the uh, sake of time, I've created a user BBD. So let's have a look at it. Go into users. And you see that um, I have a user called BBD. And uh, it's really very straightforward to create a user and I'll quickly show you but for the sake of time I've already created it. make sure that you copy the email address and uh, the password uh, because that will be used later on so if you wanted to create a user you just go to create new user and provide some information uh, like a, a unique username and uh, fill out some metadata on the user uh, if required you can also add them to a group and uh, very straightforward so I won't go, to, go into that detail but uh, you can just uh, use Azure Active Directory to create that user so let's go back to home now oh, in my earlier tutorial uh, uh, I also created a storage account and in that storage account we had a couple of containers and if I can show you both of them are currently empty and we will be uploading files and downloading files from these containers so the next step is to allow that user BBD or whatever user you create access to um, these uh, storage accounts and these containers now if we require the user or allow him to upload a file then we need to give him storage blob contributor and storage blob data owner access and if you also wish to allow the the user to download a file from Azure uh, or from the storage account then we need to give them storage blob data reader access so let's see where that is created so on that storage account I'm creating these uh, access and um, as long as it's on the storage account it will also apply to the underlying containers it's inherited so if I check my access and I go here and I enter the name of uh, the user it should uh, quickly populate that information so it brings it up and let's see so as you can see you have the storage blob data contributor you have the storage blob data owner and the storage blob data reader if uh, we are also allowing that user to download files and again uh, this is also very simple to uh, set up I can quickly show you and if you just go into access control and say add role assignment and here if we type in storage blob you can see that there are uh, four and out of those four we've already selected the data contributor data owner and data reader so it just takes a few minutes and a few clicks to select each one of them and apply them to that um, 
to that storage account and for that particular user and then uh, they will they or uh, will get access to upload and download files from that particular storage account so again uh, it's uh, fairly straightforward to set up that um, access control on that uh, particular storage account now the next thing we need to do is uh, we can either use uh, uh, the command line or we can go into powershell it's uh, it really doesn't make any difference um, i just prefer using powershell so i i launch powershell and if i do a directory in this uh, folder you can see that i have the az copy executable here so again nothing to install we can just directly run from here now the next thing you need to do when you're using oauth and uh, with uh, Azure Active Directory, we need to the first command that we need to run is to do an az copy az copy login, and that will allow us to uh, log in. And I'm just typing out the interface. You need the tenant ID, and I'll just quickly show you where to get that. So if you go back to Active Directory and we go to properties you can see you have a tenant ID information here so you can just uh, copy that and make sure that you can enter that here right that will allow you to make that login um, there are a couple of uh, steps after that uh, once you uh, login before you log in then um, it will generate uh, a token and a browser page where you go and just enter that token to authenticate and then using the uh, user and password that uh, you earlier saved you should be able to log in so since I've already logged in I'm just going to uh, start the next step which is to uh, copy a file into that um, storage container so let me go back and uh, bring that command so if you're copying a local file this is the syntax that we will follow and I'll I'll explain here so this is az copy uh, the command is copy so there's a file called plans.jpg you can see it's uh, here as well so that's um, enclosed in parentheses and that's the source and the destination is cloud so this is um, the complete path to Infoworks Blob One, which is our one of the containers under the storage account. So I think this looks okay. So let me just hit enter and see if uh, it runs. It seems to be running fine. So that's good. Total number of transfers one and we have number transfers completed one which means it's successful so let's take a quick peek at that um, container so it was info was blob one and you can see that file is there so we can also you know use the same command and um, instead of blob one we can do to the other container and instead of this file perhaps we can do just another file like truck.jpg and run that and you can see this uh, it's authenticating using Azure AD which does tell us that uh, you know our authentication is successful let's go back and let's look at Infowars blob 2 and you can see the truck.jpg was successfully loaded here or uploaded here now let's have uh, um, another command to be able to uh, as you can see there are a number of files that are ending in jpg so um, if i want to transfer a bunch of files i can use uh, the same command but uh, with uh, a wildcard so let me just write that here Let's say we want to transfer into blob one or blob two it really doesn't matter at this stage and here we will say 
all the files that are ending in jpg extension so let's run that so it tries to authenticate it goes through and then it starts the copy okay so number of transfers completed six let's go back to info was blob one and you see that it was successfully able to copy all those files that are ending in jpg so you know very very powerful way of sending files into azure now let's look at uh, how we can download a file or files from um, that uh, container so the command to do that would be exactly the reverse which is now how the source and destination would change so let me just type out that command if we go here let me just clear the page and okay so what we're doing here is that like i said it's it's totally inverse now we are bringing the file from the cloud into our local computer so now the source and destination have flipped so again the dot az copy copy the source now becomes the cloud so we're saying uh, this is the cloud uh, location uh, infoverse blob one and we're saying all the files followed by that wildcard and the destination is our local and uh, the jpg s folder right so let me run that So it's now going to the uh, to Azure and getting all the files in that uh, container Infoverse Blob One and copying them to our local machine. So I'm just gonna quickly show you. So it's making that copy. Uh, I believe there are like six files there in infoverse blob one container so it's going to copy all of those files to our local folder and uh, i and they will be coming into a folder called jpg jpgs so let's take a look there so if you go to this folder and do a directory so you see we we managed to copy all those files uh, here so now let's uh, say that there was nothing here let's see so now it's empty let's run that again that command and you should see that it will be populating it so if i run that again just to show you that uh, it worked i should have showed you that uh, folder earlier um, uh, miss that but uh, now you will see that um, be doing a fresh restart we cleared that um, folder and we should be able to copy those files from the cloud to our local machine okay let's take a look right so it copied three four five six files so this was a quick uh, demonstration of um, AZ copy and how we can use OAuth uh, using Azure Active Directory to successfully send and receive files between storage accounts and our local machine. So thank you very much for watching and uh, be sure to check out my other link where I'm using shared access signature to essentially do the same functionality. Thank you for watching.